Yo, what's good folks? Welcome back to my Charmander YouTube channel. Uh, we just finished up setting up all these Pokemon figures and we also have some DC and some Marvel figures that we'll go over after. Um, but let's give you a quick overview. Real quick, we're gonna go through each Pokemon one by one. Starting off with the Red Trainer. And then we have Bulbasaur, Ivysaur. This is a really old Venusaur toy. This is off colored. Um, then we have Charmander, Charmeleon, and then we have two different Charizards here. Charizard X and just a regular Charizard. And these are 1 20th scale. Here's Squirtle, Wartotl, Blastoise. Really nice job on these figures. Here's Ekans and Arbok. We have Pikachu, Raichu. We don't have all the figures. Like, if you notice, we're missing like Pidgey, Rattata, Caterpie, Butterfree, Sanshu, all those Beedrill. We just have. <laughs> the characters that uh, the Pokemon that we have so Pikachu, Raichu, we have Needle Queen, Needle Ran, Needle Reno, and Needle King. <clears throat> we have a Clefairy Doll and Giovanni here. Okay, and then it goes up here to Clefable, Vulpix, Ninetales. We just got Ninetales recently. A lot of these figures I've had for years and they've just been in a box, and I thought, ah. Oh, I also put them on display. We have Oddish. I really love this Arcanine here. Really nice Arcanine figure. We have Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Polyrath. We have, we don't have Abracadabra or Alakazam, but we have Mega Alakazam. We have a McChamp figure here. Really nice. Here's another McChamp figure. And before, I used to only have this big champ figure, which is huge. So it's nice to have it in scale. We have a Ponyta and a Rapidash. Real quick, we have a shiny Ponyta and shiny Rapidash here on the side. Again, we are missing tons of other Pokemon. We have Slowpoke, Grimer, and Muck, followed by Shelter. And Cloyster, we have the shiny version of Shelter and Cloyster. Then we have Gengar. We used to have a Haunter. I kind of lost my Haunter. Don't have a Ghastly. And then we have Krabby. My bad. I think it's Onyx next. We have Onyx here. And then we have Krabby. Kingular. We have Executor. We lost some of the heads for the Execute. <laughs> some of these figures, um, like Hitmonlee's arm broke off, like hard broke off, and then we had to like super glue it. We have Hitmonchan here, who doesn't actually stand up too well, so you have to use like little clay to keep him in his stance. We have a Licking Tongue. Like some of these figures, like they will literally just pop off. Oh, I don't wanna break it. But there is like a magnetic thing holding it together. And then we have Rhyhorn and Rhydon. Really clean figures. One solid piece each. Then we have Kangaskhan, which is huge. I actually think Kingler is a little bigger than I would imagine. Kingler is huge. Kangaskhan is huge. Then we have, here's Misty, so you can kind of see a person in, uh, in relevance to the figures. We have Staryu and Starmie. Look at that gem. I really like the gem on the Staryu and Starmie. Then we have Electabuzz. We don't have Magmar, Scyther, Jinx, Mr. Mime. We have Taurus. Uh, Taurus's tail is really fragile, and this actually like 
hard broke off with the super glue that back on. But I like the color on Taurus here. I think we have like another like Taurus American figure that we used to use. And this is just a regular, like I'll throw in a couple of these. Those aren't um, world skill figures, but we throw them in. Then we have, look at this Gyarados. That is a fierce looking Gyarados. I had to like super glue in like all these little fins and some of these figures are pretty fragile and really need the stands, so don't lose the stands. This is the American English Gyarados, which is actually pretty good in, in size. It's huge. But the Japanese um, paint job is just, and detail is so much better, which is why it's more expensive and kind of hard to find. Okay, we have, where are we, where are we? Let's take a little quick view out here. This is all the Kanto Gen 1 Pokemon. Um, we are getting a better Venusaur. I think we're getting a new Blastoise and a new Charizard. It'd be nice to have a Weezing as well, because I think I'm getting Jesse and James. <clears throat> okay, we have a Lapras. Huge Pokemon figure that comes with the, the Giovanni. Also, this Needle King is a one-tenth scale. So you can see a 110 scale is huge. But I enjoy collecting the 120 scale. Pokemon, we have Ditto. If you have Ditto, you have all Pokemon. And the closer you get to these Pokemon, the more detail you can see. Here's a little Eevee. Like, look at, look at the size of my hand in comparison. It's tiny. And we have Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon. There we go, let's get some light here. We have Porygon, Kabuto, Kabutops. We don't have Omanite and Amistar, it's all right. We have Aerodactyl. Uh, I don't know if I'm getting a better Aerodactyl. This is an American figure. The, the Japanese Aerodactyl is huge. We have Snorlax. And same thing with the birds. We don't have Articunal, Zapdos, and Moltres, but they're huge. They're gigantic. And don't get me started on Lugia. Lugia is huge. Uh, we have the Dratini, Shiny Dratini and Shiny Dragonair. Regular Dratini and Dragonair. And I think Dragonair's tail like broke off. I had to glue that back on. And we have Dragonite. I really love this figure. It's just clean. It's just, it feels good. It's a good size. Then we have Mewtwo. Definitely needs his little stand to stay up. And last but not least, we have Mew. So you can see how like small some of these figures are like Pikachu compared to like, look how big Muck is. Oh my gosh. Need a queen fell down. Oh, and Arbok. We this Arbok doesn't stand up on its own very well. Shoot. One second. Sorry guys. There we go. We knocked down Arbok. But look how big that muck is. It's huge. I think they made a smaller muck. And again, that Kingler looks huge too. Ginormous. Like look, look at the size of McChamp and then look at the size of Kingler. That Kingler is huge. Even the regular Venusaur is actually really big as well. Venusaur is one of the bigger Pokemon. I like I like the size of Onyx. I like the size of Gyarados. Snorlax is a pretty good size. I would think Snorlax would be actually a little bit bigger. Like, Kangaskhan is bigger than Kang uh, Snorlax. And actually, look at this Rhydon. Look at Rhydon compared to, like, Flareon. Or Rhydon compared to... I don't know. Some of these other pokes are... 
Even Arcanine's. I guess Arcanine's supposed to be that big, but if you put next to like a person, it is just huge. Huge. I think Kangaskhan's way too big. But they do everything according to the Pokedex. Um, like the height and the weight and all that. So I think they did a pretty solid job. We're going to move on to Gen 2. There's my little Ash Ketchum. Starting off with Chikorita Bayleaf. I really like this Meganium color. Really nice Meganium. And we have Cinequil. And I like the fire um, that they do here. The translucent fire. We have Colava, Typhlosion. We have Tordal, Crocnaw. And then for Ralligator is huge. Ralligator is much bigger than the Typhlosion. Oh, and then we go from Ralligator down to Pichu, Togepi, and Natu. Again, this is my hand. It's very, very tiny. Natu, Tokopi, Pichu. And then we have this huge Steelix here. I mean, just huge Steelix. I think we go this way. We have Blossom. This is actually just a regular, like some of these figures, they're not really world scale, but sometimes they happen to be the right, like this Apom. Might be like a good size. Polytoad, I lost his little antenna thing, which I'm kind of sad about. But yeah, see, like this Apom fits pretty close into world scale. Then we have Wooper. Quagsire. This Quagsire is huge. Little derpy face. Then we have. Espeon and Umbreon. Espeon can sometimes fall down. Then we have Sneasel. This Smeargle is just a regular figure as well. Not actually world scale. Then we have Hitmontop. Smoochum. Elekid. Then we have the three legendary dogs. Raikou, Entei, Suicune. Again, we are missing some Pokemon. That's okay. We have Larvitar, and this Pupitar doesn't stand up very well. Pupitar, and then one of my favorite figures here is this Tyranitar. Very clean Tyranitar. Look at the, the job of the back too. It's so nice. Stands up on its own, one solid piece. That's Gen 2. On to Gen 3. We don't have Blaziken or Skeptile, but we have Mudkip. His eyes are kind of off in that Mudkip. We have Marsh Stomp. I really like this Swampert. This Swampert is clean. Good size for Swampert. All one piece. And then we have Mega Swampert, which is just a tank. We actually super glued him tonight. And he is just a beast. This guy is jacked. Really big piece, nice Swampert. And then we have Gardevoir and Sableye, which are just regular Pokemon, not world scale, but I threw them in. And then we have Aaron, Aaron, Larion, and Agron, followed by Mega Agron. We lost one of his little things here, but that's okay. Mega Agron. Really cool steel Pokemon. Um, then we go to Flygon, which is actually just an English American one as well, but I think it looks pretty cool. The English ones always gotta have some weird gimmick, like it's a like it can do stuff and flap its wings, and it's like no, just make a nice clean model like the Japanese. Again, this is just not to scale, but we threw in a core fish here. Here's a Crocnall. And then um, 
or is it Crawdon? No, no, I, I, forget. I forget. I might butcher some of the names. We have Sfeel, Celio, and Warren. Nice big Warren. Even Sfeel is actually huge. And then we have Beldum. Right here in the back, Beldum. We have a Matang. And then we have a huge Metagross. This is, this is my hand, it's huge. Big Metagross. There's a couple different ones, but yeah, I dig it. Oh, and then there's um this Matang and this Metagross, which again, aren't for English, aren't too bad. They happen to be like, instead of having to pay for the Japanese ones, you might just settle for some of the English figures. They're not toys, they're figures. Marie. <laughs> they're not they're not rocks, they're minerals. Okay. So that's Gen 3. Here's Gen 4. We actually don't even have the starters. We have Shinx, I think. Lu Lumio? Oh shoot, I forget this guy's name. What's this guy's name? He's like the black Jolteon. Um, I forget his name. That guy, we have this guy. This, um, Bloat Buzzle is not really world scale, but he kind of fits there nice. We have Gibble, Dabite, and Garchomp. We have to super glue, I think this guy's arm here. Then we have uh, just an American Lucario. Oh, and Munchlax. Not world scale, but they happen to fit like pretty nicely to scale. Here's a Electivire, Leafeon, and Glaceon. I'm always pointing out, but like, yeah, Glaceon's like ear thing broke off and his tail. So I gotta get a new Glaceon. But yeah, this Electivire is huge and like these can fall off, so. It actually does help to like super glue some of the pieces together. Here's a little quick overview. <coughs> okay, here is Croc Gnaw. This is Croc Gnaw. <coughs> and then we have Camerat eating the fish. Arcuda. <coughs> then we have Toxtricity, two Toxtricities. Followed by Galarian Ponyta. Then we have Senesti right down here. Cursula. Sir Farfetch, who doesn't stand up well. Then we have Morpeko and the Hangry Morpeko. Followed by Zora and Zorak. Tyrant. Tyrant. <coughs> and then one of my favorite world skill figures is Tyrantrum. Tyrantrum is huge. Very, very uh, well done figure. Followed by Beware. And we have a Mimikyu. American figure. This is a. Uh, a world scale figure. So you can see how tiny it is. Look at the detail. And then we have um, Groudon, uh, Groudon for um, um, Gen 3. Very, very huge figure. <laughs> Just kind of need to have space for it, you know? And again, you have to dust a lot. Dusting is kind of a pain. So if you have like glass cases, that's probably the way to go. Again, the closer you get to some of these figures, the better they look.
I like the figures that are like solid. You know, they stand up on their own. Um, the little ones are, are cute and all, but I like the ones that are like solid, not too many pieces, they don't break. Oh, we also have like tons of these people here too. I didn't go through them all, I didn't set them up yet, but. Lance, Green, this fighting girl, the water gym trainer, Ghost Boy, we have um, Gary, or Blue, Marnie, May, Gold, I don't know this girl. Oh, this is silver, I think, I don't know. But here's some other like random pieces. Here's a little Pikachu. I made these little Pokeballs. Here's a cool um, Pokemon Center Arcanine. <laughs> English side up. Just some other random stuff in here. This is like old school Jesse and James here. Some of the figures I just didn't put up for display. Blastoise. We have Superman. Gengar. We got some of the figures around here, but anyways, um, that is it for the Pokemon part of this video. We're gonna get to the Marvel DC um like Avengers, X-Men. Justice League. We'll start off with the Justice League. We have Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, and The Flash, which look really nice, really glossy. They have things like Nightwing, Aquaman, Cyborg, Shazam, some other Batman figures, Supergirl. I'm considering maybe getting like a Supergirl and Aquaman. I'm not a big Cyborg fan, but I kind of wish they did like a Martian Manhunter instead. But yeah, same thing with these. Like the closer you get, the better they look. They just shine so nice. Got to keep them clean. We have a random Batman hanging out here. Look at the detail on that Batman though. And then we have Beast from X-Men. Really nice solid figure here. We have a uh, Superman. Really nice paint job here. We have Magneto back there. We took down Cyclops. Um, we have Charizard X. We already went over those. We have Jean Grey. Or the, when she becomes the Phoenix, she's super strong. We have the Hulk, Thor, Iron Man. Oh, we forgot about Spider-Man down here. Really cool Spider-Man. Okay, and then we have Wolverine. It's like uncanny dark outfit here. We have Iron Man. We have two Iron Mans. I think that one looks better. Cyclops, really well done. And these figures are huge. Really big, big figures here. Or maybe I have a tiny hand, or big hand. <laughs> we have, yeah, Cyclops, Colossus here. I love this gigantic Colossus, about to smash everything. And we have a big giant Hulk in the background to finish it off. Look at look at the detail on his face. Love these figures here. They can get pretty expensive. So I figured, and you know what? I'm not gonna resell them. I might as well enjoy them. I might as well take videos and photos of them. But yeah, that is the look at DC and Marvel figures. You can find them at um, from Kotobukiya. These are Art FX figures. 
We're gonna do one last look at all the Pokemon figures just because we're probably gonna change how we display this. Um, we might be getting a different display. So I thought this would be kind of cool to put them in Pokedex order. And here's another look at all these figures one last time. I'll probably be making more videos. There are some other figures that I'm like hoping to get. But sometimes the shipping can take a while. I really like that Mega Swampert <laughs> and that regular Swampert. I feel like this Mega Agron is a little too chunky. He's a thick boy. I'm actually surprisingly really happy with this Flygon. I recommend it. This Steelix is just huge. Groudon is huge. Even this Tyrantrum, man. Look at that. Look at that. Huge. And then you can lose little figures like the, the teacup and more Peko. Anyways, folks, that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Um, check out my other videos. Thanks for watching, guys.